All right, I'm going to hang this today and I'm going to use the non-measuring Stephanie method. All right, that's probably a good view. Perfect, okay. So, I'm gonna put it right about here. The door opens out, so I don't have to worry about the door at all. And the TV was gonna mount here. There was a sticker that said mount your TV here. So, I know I can't go down too far or up too far because I have these things. So I'm just gonna, instead of putting the bracket on the wall first, I'm going to attach the one that goes onto this and then see where it lines up. And then I'll know where exactly to put the one that goes on the wall. So there's four hole, five holes and only two screws. So I looked at the directions and it, you, you put them in the outermost holes so I don't know what all the other holes are for. I don't have an awl. Hopefully it'll be soft enough that I could just put this in. Let's see. I could measure it and get it perfect, but I don't think it matters. And I hope this doesn't split the wood. Maybe I should go into my screws and get a smaller screw. Oh, it's going right in. Okay, there's one. I didn't put it all the way in so I can wiggle it. Wiggle it just a little bit. Okay. Now I'm just feeling to make sure I have it even. My Makita driver is my favorite tool in the world. It really is. Well, besides making my router, that's it. And then I gotta put these in the wall. It's about like that. Oh, and it overlaps there, so I have it a little too far to the right. That's okay. That's okay, because I have all this. So I don't think I'm gonna have a problem. But I know it'll still hang straight. All right, so I'm gonna put the one on the wall now. Oh, I was gonna mark the... Actually, I don't have to mark it because I made it go up past the wood a little bit. All right. And I'm just feeling where where the corner is on the bracket. Where is it? There it is. Okay, there's one. Okay. So I don't know if you can see those lines. Oh no, she's drawing on her trailer walls. <laughs> this line and this line is where the, the bracket lines up so now I'm going to find my the screws I don't know where I put them oh there they are now hmm I'm just looking on the side of where my fridge is. I'm hoping the wires, the wires might run down because there's a switch here. I'm gonna turn the power off in the camper. Well, maybe that just turns the inside lights off. Well, let's see. Let's hope I don't get electrocuted, right? So this is going to need to go lower than that because it's going to lock into the other piece. So I think that's got to go about there. My lines are up here. 
so I'm thinking it has to go about there. And I have to, I have to stand in front of it. What if my camper is crooked? See, my camper might not be level right now. I should just make sure it's, it's level on the wall, not level to the ground because it's very possible that my camper is not level right now. So a little trick, here's a little trick. If you don't have a level and you do have a measuring tape or any other device, cause I lost my measuring tape cause I lose things. If you don't have a ruler, what you can do is just measure from the ceiling down say that's 12 inches mark it and then go 12 inches from there and mark it so that's what i'm going to do since since i can't level it because my camper is actually not level so i'm going to measure down where i think i'm going to put the bracket and it's at nine and a half inches so i'm actually going to go mark nine and a half and nine and a half no that's not good this came out when I screwed that in So I'm going to use another, a different hole. Because I just pulled something out of place behind this Luan. I'm getting too hot. I got to get a hair tie. And turn the heater off. That would help. Yesterday, for a very, very fleeting moment, I thought about getting my hair cut short. Not short, short, but like, you know, like a bob. But it's easy just to throw it up. I like that I have long hair because then when I get hot, I can wear it down. Or, I'm sorry, when I get cold, I can wear it down. No, it's pulling something out from the wall. What is it doing? I don't know what it's doing. I don't know. I don't know if I'm hurting my wall. I'm going to go back and put it in the first hole. Okay. That's better. The first time I put it in. Hold on a second. The first time I put the first screw in, the wall kind of came out. But then the second time, the, hall, the wall went back in. So hold on a second, I'm gonna flip the Okay, so. That's where it is. It looks like I did it a little too crooked. So I might need to take it out and straighten it out a little bit. I'm gonna hang it up and see how it looks. Um, See, it doesn't look level to these three. <laughs> but if you look at the molding, these three are not level to the molding. So it's like, do I do it level to the molding like I did or level to those three things? Let's see how it looks. Let's see. Okay, it's a little too low. It's really too low. I got to go up an inch. So I have to pretty much go up to where I drew the marks for the the first bracket where I traced the um right where I traced these. When I put this up and traced where this was, 
that's actually where I have to screw that into. So let me unscrew it and rescrew it. Try again. That looks pretty good. This is what I was concerned about. I felt like this needed to be equal here. And it looks pretty good. I think I'm satisfied. All right, I am satisfied with that. I could even put, oh, that's gonna weigh it down. Oh. I didn't think that would happen at all. Didn't think that would happen. Yeah. I guess the only way to keep that from happening is if I had put brackets all the way across. Or put something here. Tack a little something. I already put enough holes in the wall. But if I tacked a little um, nail on each side so it couldn't tilt down. or put them balanced, but I really wanted to go like two on one side. I could do that. I could do that. For some reason, they don't make that side go down. That's what I'll do. I'm gonna put them there and I'm gonna put some creeping time in them, maybe later today. So that's it, thanks for watching. Mm -hmm.